Hello everyone, today we're going to be checking out some of my personal favorite GPUs between 4 and 600 bucks. From Intel, I know that Intel has been receiving a lot of hate, but the overclocking graphics card 12GB DDR6 uh, XE20 core G uh, GPU is actually not half bad, as it sports overclocking in the name. And for 400 bucks, it's actually very good for your do for your dollar for, for your frames per dollar and also nvidia's at sorry uh they're actually starting to catch up to brands like amd and nvidia in terms of their budget you know if you wanted to make a budget build around them um next from from nvidia we have the rtx 5060 8GB VRAM GDDR7 for about four, $408. Now, this isn't actually that bad of a card, once again. Um, you know, it's 5060, so it's current gen. And, I mean, if you're looking for something, you know, that not every single Redditor is going to hate that you bought, this is a great card. You know, if you're not really an Intel fan, this is one of my personal recommendations if you're on a budget. Um, the next budget card that I will be showing you is the 5060 Ti 16GB of GDDR7. This one is $638, which is a bit more expensive. However, 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 for every downside, there's an upside. And for this thing, that is that it comes with 16 gigs and not 8. So you get essentially an extra eight gigs if you pay 200 bucks more, which can sometimes be objectively worse, uh, but you know, it really depends what you're using it for. Last, but certainly not least, the, RT, the RX 9060 90, XT, eight gigabyte OC edition. The nice thing about this, only costs $409 <clears throat> and it's overclockable. Now, the difference between this and every other one is that you'll probably be able to overclock it in a safer way without, you know, making its lifespan suffer a whole lot because it's tri-fan cooled, which means that there's more, there's better cooling and the heat sink is dispersing the heat better. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, this is my uh, personal recommendation and this is in Canadian dollars, so in USD it might be a bit different. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next one. Bye guys.